shoulder tendinopathy. Wow! Tendinopathy. Ano naman po yung mga signs and symptoms na mayroong taong mayroong tendinopathy sa shoulders? Pakwis tayo. Hello! Surprise! Ay, tayong absent si Aya. Tayong sinabi pa niya na absent siya. Okay, go. Tingin mo, Aya. Dok naman eh. Tendinopathy. Ten, basta tendon. Ah, kaya nga. Plus points niya. Tarating ba sa'yo yung pasyete si Bin? Dok, tendon. Eh, di Dok, ano may pain yan, Dok. Yes, so pain is the most. Sobrang general eh. Pero tama, ano mo siya? Pain is the most common presenting syndrome ng shoulder tendinopathy. Just like, any of the other tendinopathies. Mm. Kasi di ba, hindi naman lang sa shoulder may tendinopathy. No. Napagus I think napag-usapan na natin yung ibang mga klase ng tendinopathies. And the shoulder is one of the, I would say, most prevalent na area na may tendinopathy. Around 30% of the population will actually have um, tendinopathy, shoulder tendinopathy. And about 50% of the population will have at least one time in their life will have pain in their shoulder. Mm -hmm. And about 54% of the people will say three years naglalast yung pain nila sa shoulder. Yeah. Now, Marami kasing mga tao magaling mag-alaga. <laughs> Hindi Ayan. lang Pilipino, maraming mga tao talaga magaling mag-alaga. Kasi, eh, komo naman talaga, di ba, may ginawa kang isang bagay, biglang sumakit yung whatever part of your body. Mm -hmm. And then, what, what you usually would do would be, uh, try and see na baka mawala pa to, di ba? Kasi minsan, nawawala naman talaga siya, which is very common. So, a lot of the people would not see consult right away, and then napansin nila, naglalas na lang ng tumatagal. Tumatagal na lang yung problem nila or, or parang bakit hindi na nawawala yung mm. pain ko. And then finally, they will see consultation. Now, so, bihirang may swelling, bihirang may makikita kang swelling. A lot of the time, it's pain associated with um, either a repetitive injury or probably a trauma or... Um, sometimes patients come in medyo advancing na yung age or medyo may edad na sila and then they will say, nagkaroon kasi ako ng pain, nagising ako isang araw, tapos nag-progress na siya. Like wala naman talaga silang maalala na inciting factor or like triggering factor. Tapos bigla na lang, one day they wake up, they realize that there is pain and then the pain persists and after a while, parang hindi na siya nawawala. Mm -hmm. So pagka ganun, um, they will see consultation and then you will do some examination. So, physical examinations will actually tell you, no? Di ba, last time, oh, yung pinag-usapan, absent ka kasi. <laughs> yung last week na pinag-usapan namin, yung acromioclavicular joint sprain, di ba, sabi ko sa'yo, depending on where the area of pain is, kasi nandun yung acromioclavicular joint. Now, when you do physical examination, obviously, you look at it first. Di ba? So, you inspect the area. Pag tinignan mo, oh, wala man deformity. Kasi yung AC joint, Minsan may deformity, okay. di ba? Pag severe siya, may deformity siya. Nakausli naka yung uh, end ng uh, clavicle mo, di ba? Tapos, um, yung ibang injuries, I would say, kung kunyari nahulog, tumama, mm -hmm. may swelling, namamaga siya, or merong uh, bruise. Pasa. Pasa. Yeah. <laughs> May bruise, may pasa doon sa area after an injury. Now, patients with shoulder tendinopathy, pag tinignan mo yan, mukha normal. Mm -hmm. Kung hindi siya severe. Mm -hmm. At kung bago-bago pa siya. Mm -hmm. Kung several weeks or months pa lang yung, yung uh, pain, pag tinignan mo, minsan mukha siyang normal. Tapos, um, pag, pina, pag kinapa mo siya, Merong direct tenderness, minsan walang direct tenderness. Meaning kahit anong kapa mo, parang hindi niya maramdaman yung pain. Pero pag pinagalaw mo, there are certain movements that they would feel the pain. Mm -hmm. Now, bakit ganun? Ba't may certain movements lang na they would feel the pain? Mm -hmm. Kasi, pwede ba natin ibalik yung picture na pinakita nyo kanina? If you're going to look at the shoulder, you have your four rotator cuff tendons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And four. these are actually, uh, so yung parang... Uh, yung buto, di ba? And then there's this structure, parang siyang pai-pai. Mm -hmm. Tapos meron parang sa ilalim. Mm -hmm. So that's your muscles. That's uh, yeah. part of your rotator cuff muscles. Meron kong apat. May supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and your subscapularis. Now, these muscles, obviously, 
will make um, your shoulder move in different ways. Mm -hmm. So, kung ang affected na muscle or tendon is your supraspinatus, ang masakit na movement niya is yung abduction and yung adduction ng shoulder. Mm -hmm. Hindi niya kayang basta-basta i-lift ng walang pain. So, pag kunyari, pina-physical exam mo yung pasyente, sabihin mo, gayain mo ako, ha? tapos igaganyan mo yung arm mo, going all the way overhead. So, sabihin sa'yo, duk, masakit niyan. Mm -hmm. So, um, that would already tell you na, uy, yung supraspinatus mukhang affected. And then, yung ibang muscles naman would cause pain on the external or internal rotation of the shoulder. So, dun mo ngayon makiklinch which tendon yung may problema. Okay? Now, Ayan pala. Um, if your patient has had rotator cuff tendinopathy for years, or let's say, punit talaga yung mm -hmm. rotator cuff niya, mm -hmm. then, pag tinignan mo, minsan may atrophy, minsan mapapansin mo na laglag yung... Parang, may, um, parang lubog yun dito. Doctor. Lubog, or yung sa likod, yung, yung ditong part niya dapat may, may konting... Curve. Curve, parang may laman yung likod. Parang mas flat yung isang side. So, yun, makikita mo yun yun. Kasi may atrophy na yung muscles. Okay? Now, um, iba yung rotator cuff tear na tinatawag. Kasi yung tendinopathy, obviously, buo pa yung tendon mo. Or if ever, irritated lang siya. Or may konting pamamaga or konting-konting punit doon sa tendon. Ngayon, kapag punit na talaga yung rotator cuff mo, um, probably because of a... Uh, Uh, a severe injury or over time because of the other factors that causes the tendinopathy, posibleng mapunit na rin siya ng tuluyan. Now, pagka ganun, aside from the range of motion, hindi kaya ng pasyente kasi masakit, malamang hindi rin niya kayanan kasi punit eh. So, paano niya igagalaw? Diba? Walang magpapagalaw in essence. So, Patients would also present with weakness. Aside from pain, minsan isang symptom then would be weakness of the shoulder. I can't do some of the movements that I used to be doing because it's painful and I just feel like it's weak. Okay, so yun yung mga most common na problem. Now, anong cause netong rotator cuff tendinopathy? So mara may may extrinsic and may intrinsic factors na tinatawag tayo. So extrinsic factors. Obvious ba? Yung galing sa labas. So, na-aksidente, nahulog, o di kaya um, repetitive injury, repetitive trauma, like yung mga players, overhead okay. uh, athletes, swimmers, mga ganyan, or volleyball players. Um, there would also be our baseball players, commonly. Um, trabaho. <laughs> karpentero, oh, uh, naglilinis ng, ang tawag doon, window cleaners, mm -hmm. yung mga ganyan, yung repetitive yung mga movements nila. Now, over time, pwedeng magkaroon ng irritation sa tendon nila. Now, yung, yung intrinsic naman, yun yung wala tayong magagawa, nangyari na lang siya. So, may problema sa tendon morphology, may problema sa anatomy, nagkaroon ng arthritis yung shoulder, mm -hmm. nagkaroon ng spur. So, mm -hmm. pag nagkaroon ka ng spur, may yung ilalim ng acromion mo, may extra na buto siyang tumutubo. So, yung tendon mo na nando doon, kumakas ka sa kanya, naiirita. So, yun yung mga factors.